So you can actually put in API keys for a few third party APIs. The command returned. Yeah, so I think that I've probably hit the limit with Google. And I haven't got a an API key set up for Google search. Yeah. So like, we can't programmatically search. Okay. I'm curious to explore this further though, to see because it's its goal is to create a video, right? So I don't know how it could do that with if it did have some images and it used basic text to speech like GTTS, which is free, it could potentially just use FFmpeg to generate a some kind of it video, which would be hilarious. But I don't think it's there yet. So this is the plan, criticism none. But it has found images as URLs there. It's, I don't know if it's found images, but it's found places which look like they could be images. And it's even got image credit information, which was cool. So is it in a loop doing the same thing? Got their website, might be pulling images off it. I don't know if it's gonna Google's gonna this because it's gonna Let's return something. Using GPT three to generate a short summary of interesting facts related to AlphaFold. Yeah. Use GPT three <laughs> response to create bullet points on AlphaFold's capabilities. Can you open one of those URLs? Which one? Like these ones? Yeah. Most complex AI systems. That's just a home page. What's it going to do now? Start agent command and to start GPT-3 to generate more summaries. I'm curious to see, it's pulling in a lot of information. Yeah. Writing script for the video, key insights. The short video, but that's cool. I didn't really specify anything about that. It's not like super the super latest news, which is interesting. It's from 2021, which is using screen recording software. Save the recording. What's it going to do? Record a video while reading the script out loud is a great <laughs> way to create a high quality videos. Mm -hmm. Hold viewers' attention while they learn. We will save the video using a write to file command and MP4 video as the file name. Okay. Great. We should ensure maybe it's going to like. How can we execute that? It's just write to file. Bar written successfully. Just moving on to the next thing. Render the audio using text to what do you call it? Text to speech. Yeah. And produce a video track to match. Just saving the script as an mp4 well will not work when you try to upload to youtube so a way you can check for files present or maybe in another terminal or something on the web auto gpt workspace what about the auto gpt workspace directory there we go there's an MP4 file in there. I wonder if you can open it with VSL. Oh, VLC, sorry, VLC. But no size, really. It's very small. Yeah. Shutting down. No, that's the old one. Oh. Okay, this is the one. Syn create a synchronized audio a video visual file using screen recording or text to integrate audio. Use YouTube to upload the video, including necessary metadata. Save metadata plan, create synchronized audio and visual files using the screen recording software. Yep, give it a go. I'd be keen to see what other files there were in that folder. So you got quite a few text files you could go through. I just wrote this one. There we go, title. Our revolutionized structural biology. In this video, it's got tags. Privacy status, file name. That's cool. That's an Marketing one. strategy. So I'm just going to share it on social media. I don't think this makes sense. 
No. It's like it's it stopped. It didn't understand how to render the video. But it is continuing to market it. It's literally finding the most relevant social media platforms. Please list three platforms. YouTube would be the ideal platform. <laughs> Surely that won't work. What is it asking to do? By getting the agent to retrieve the ID of the AlphaFold video for us, we can avoid having to manually search for it. Uh, thus, save time and ensure that we have the correct ID for sharing the... No, <laughs> it's looking for some random video now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know I have access. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think we're kind of hitting the limits here, but it's trying to mark... It's, it wrote the script, it did the research, wrote the script, came up with a topic on that script, and then wrote the script, and then uh, wrote the metadata, search for images and videos. Did it download any? I don't think it downloaded any in the end. And created an MP4. We don't know what's in that MP4. And then, it, yeah, then it wanted to upload it to YouTube. But it's, what's it, so what's it doing now? It's trying to find the idea of a YouTube video to share. Wow, well, it's found a heap of YouTube videos, but Probably not the one we had. So it has found one. So we can see, I guess, on YouTube if this is a video of interest. So this is it. Yeah. Deep Mind self video explained. And then what is it doing here? It's write a Python script to generate the optimal schedule for the alpha file video. Write a script in the file should make sure the generated file is appropriate for the target audience. Wow. So it wants to schedule it. So we should have a file now, like a Python file, is it? Build.python. Start. Input duration. A schedule based on the use metric. Adjust here. So it's going to... So we can just run it. Looks safe to run. Doesn't make... A whole heap of sense. I don't know if it's waiting for a parameter or something. There's a extra bracket in there somewhere. Where's the extra bracket? Oh, can you switch back to your terminal? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, so it's generated a Python file, and I was just trying to run it after checking it, make sure it's okay. And I think I'm just seeing an extra extra close bracket here so that's one bracket then we've got another bracket yeah could be that new line that's stopping it up okay so it's got dates and links channel deep mind i don't know how that would find the optimal time no so we now that we've written the script, let's execute the script and get our results. Okay, <laughs> is it going to actually be able to run the script? I did fix the script, so it's got that going for it. Yeah, cool. That's the app that we got. I don't know how you would describe it as. Now we have the optimal schedule. Okay, so it's just committing that whole string to memory. I feel like it might be better at something like creative, like writing a story. Yeah. Did the script. We saw that there was no problem. Retrieve the optimal schedule. And print it to the console. So it's not really. It seems like it's just in a bit of a loop. Yeah, now it's stuck in a loop. Cool. Anyway, I thought that was pretty pretty cool to see what you can do with it. And it did do quite a lot. Like it did the research, found out what was news. You could probably tighten those parameters up. And then it began to write the script for the video, create the metadata, tried to create a video. I'm not sure what it used to do that, but it did create an MP4 file, which was odd. Are you, is it even openable? Can you? Just to give you an idea of cost, that costs us about 36 cents. Okay. To do all that. Yeah. So far. Through OpenAI. Yeah.
What did you ask, sorry, Rog? Is the MP4 file even openable? Can we... Right, I can it's list it. Really small. Nano, alpha fold, MP4. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alpha fold video recording completed. Okay, all right. That's interesting. So it's just basically put text in there. All right. Cool, but it's also would, created the script, the metadata. I would do one more, which was just to write a story, write a short story or something. No. Let's call it fictional story bot, something like that. Yeah. Should we write a business plan or what's something that would be interesting for people? Like a yeah. dooms. Science fiction? I don't know. Well, That's interesting to me. <laughs> World War Three. Yeah. I don't know. Let's call it like World War Three. An AI designed to autonomously role play, no, like autonomously play out. I don't want to do it like in a dangerous way. Um, workshop possible World War Three starting events as a short story like that yeah. to autonomously workshop possible world war three starting events as a short story okay develop realistic geopolitical d-i-c-a-l scenario develop realistic uh, characters yeah plot yeah, plot, oh, sorry, develop realistic, uh, develop what, plot, map, events over realistic time period, and describe the scenario as... I guess you could put it in a style of a known author or yeah describe the scenario in the style of a news anchor okay yeah five render the convert render the results to audio using text-to-speech okay <laughs> Probably could have put on continuous mode for this, but. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to create an agent to assist the assistant in analyzing potential scenarios for World War Three. It's creating GPT agent to assist the research, use the internet to search to gather information, analyze potential scenarios and map out events. So it's starting the, okay. Catalyst for interstate war. Navigate to that website, scroll through the web page and look for information on the main causes of interstate conflict. Record any information, any relevant information. It's found 14,000 characters. A lot of information about World War II. Save the information. It's got three main causes of conflict, which is Electoral interference, diplomatic conflict, and environmental conflict. Searching more information through Google. It's trying to verify its information. National Geographic website. It's trying to be like quite, I mean, it's trying to validate its browsing website to find information on most disputed territories across the world. Six most disputed territories. Okay, now it's going to just save that info. What's the next thing going to be? It's a good. Okay, we've got the uh, East China Sea. Area. Heights, Gaza. Open up a web browser and go search for the query. Indicators that suggest a country is preparing for war. Interesting. Okay, so I found any information. I accidentally pushed enter again. I don't know if I can push anything at the moment. Attempting yeah. to fix. What's it doing? 
anyway, even if we just make it to there, it's still, you can see that it's pulling in lots of information. What's all that? Yeah, so it's definitely doing a lot of research. Now it's going to do more research. Getting information on Ukraine and Russia conflict. This could take a while. A lot of info out there for sure. It just keeps finding more things. I don't know if it's stuck in a loop or not. 190,000 characters summarizing one of 24 chunks. I hope it's using GBD3. Yeah, 3.5 would be pretty quick if it was the turbo model. So it's learning about the annexation of Crimea, which in terms of a plausible starting point for World yeah. War III is pretty, yeah. pretty topical. What, to, yeah, what were the key events that led up to the annexation of Crimea? So it's trying to learn what were the key events that led up to the annexation of Crimea. Yeah. That will be interesting to see. So it's reading an entire... The Crimea's Wikipedia page. Yeah, let's see how big that is. I'm just... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I, I'll go back to the top. Wow. Okay, so it's huge. It's summarizing all of this content. Oh, it's going to find all these references too. Hopefully it won't want to keep going down the rabbit hole. Let's just review what it's been doing. Uh, using Google research, reasoning the critical aspect of the current conflict pertains to the annexation of Crimea by a Russian Federation in 2014. To understand that annexation is essential for research and understand the complex political, socio and economic factors play that role in the exit. Therefore, I plan to use Google to find resources to and information about the geopolitical landscape leading up to the, of the annexation of Crimea. Why did it do that? Browsing a, events of Ukraine to better understand the conflict is essential to reflect on the origin and causes. Therefore, I will use the da, 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 da. why is it focusing on this one? Previous search revealed a list of sites that provide intensive all current active armed conflicts in the world. Based on search results, I found out that there are many ongoing conflicts while well. understanding the different elements of each conflict will enable me to develop realistic scenarios of a sad world war. One more chunk to go. I'm very curious to see, because it was trying to find out what led up to the annexation of Crimea. 